Welcome back guys and gals, it's your boy Joe, and today we're going to be going over 18 easter eggs and facts from Better Call Saul Season 1 Episode 2, Miho. For example, in the script, Tuco is only referred to as Miho because the showrunners wanted to keep this reveal a super secret. Now, if you like more super secrets like that, then stay tuned to the mother freaking video! Let's jump into this! 1. Adding on to earlier, Tuco's reveal was so secret that Raymond Cruz, the actor, did not even attend the premiere of the show in order to keep the reveal a secret. 2. At the grandma's house, you can see real pictures of Raymond Cruz as a child. 3. The showrunners find extreme difficulty in using the opening credits as they don't want to distract the audience from the actor's performance. 4. Tuco's garage is a practical set, meaning it is a real garage in someone's house. 5. The shots of Jimmy plopping on the ground in the desert was apparently a big pain to film. 6. Where Better Call Saul is different from Breaking Bad is that these dialogue scenes include music in the background. This is the truth! I'm a lawyer! Guys, I passed the bar! Ask me anything! I Recognize your cough. Take that mask off, you know, get some air. Go on. 7. Peter Gould commented that Saul Goodman would have left those twins in the desert, but Jimmy McGill would go back to save them. 8. Some clouds are fake due to the scene being filmed over two days and having an inconsistent sky backdrop. <laughs> Look it! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 9. Vince said, quote, This is pre-meth Tuco. 10. Jimmy at the bar was originally made with two pages of dialogue, but the editing team came up with the idea to let the visuals speak for themselves. Real quick, real, real quick. If you like what you've seen so far, there's tons more content on the channel with Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. As well, you can follow our Instagram at RealCamCook for lots of more amazing memes. But, other than that, you know what to do. Don't forget to like and freaking subscribe. 92% of you bozos ain't subbing. Come on, help your boy out. Anyway, let's continue with the list. 11. Chuck's space blanket is lined with a specific material in order to avoid crinkling on set, which makes the audio recording way easier. 12. Better Call Saul makes a tribute to the movie All That Jazz in this courthouse montage. 13. This montage was all shot in one day. 14. Jonathan Banks on his acting in the episode said, I'm f***ing living in the booth. 15. The apparent parking lot for this courthouse is actually nowhere near a courthouse and is just somewhere under a bridge. 16. Vince finds it comedic that on this enormous soundstage, is a small closet sized set for Jimmy's office. When building the set, Vince kept saying, make it smaller. 17. Vince recommends visiting the nail salon and says, don't be a bag. And number 18. Peter Gold talks on this nacho slash Jimmy scene by saying, Jimmy McGill really wants to be an honest lawyer and has been sticking to the path for 10 years. He doesn't want to be a criminal. So, did you learn anything? Did you already know all this? Be sure to complain in the comments like you usually do, and also dislike the video like you usually do. But other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching anyway, and for more Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul content, you better browse this playlist. You got Breaking Bad, you got Better Call Saul, you got an El Camino review, you got some uh, Breaking Bad short films to make fun of, tons of cool stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video, comment, leave a comment. If you leave a comment, subscribe if you're new between me, you and Heisenberg. Have a wonderful day and peace out.